Okay, welcome back. We're going to talk today about the Omicron variant and the good news coming out of South Africa. So, so far, what has been discovered about the Omicron variant is that it is a combination of the coronavirus, Delta, with genes from the common cold, which is another coronavirus. So, data coming out of South Africa, uh, per John Campbell's YouTube channel, he does a lot of research into just the entire coronavirus outbreak. He's world renowned. He's been on shows. He's been referred to by, you know, specialists as, as one of the leading experts in information on this. Um, he said that somehow a uh, infected individual with Delta in South Africa had the, another coronavirus, which is a, one of the many common colds we have nowadays for the past hundred years we had coronaviruses common colds and somehow this meeting of the two viruses inside of a human cell merged and made a uh, a new new strain called the omicron variant highly highly contagious uh the symptoms are a little different so uh one of the symptoms they were talking about was a severe headache uh, myalgia and body aches, severe fatigue, you know, that's about it. No cough, no runny nose, a uh, little bit of a sore throat. And that's, that's the, the main symptoms of the Omicron variant. Now at the rate, this is, this is spread, has already spread in South Africa, by the way. It's just, just completely overtaking Delta. At the rate it's spreading, it's going to do the same in America England, across the world, it will overtake uh, the Delta variant, which has caused death and strife across planet Earth, uh, just like it did. The Alpha was taken out by the Delta variant. Um, it's just basically evolution. So, if one strain is stronger than the other, it tends to destroy the other strain and becomes dominant. So, we're just looking at an evolutionary chain of the virus. Now, this is this is the upswing and the downswing I talked about in previous videos. So if the virus mutates where it's more deadly and more contagious, we're in trouble. If the, the variant, which is tons of mutations uh, in one virus, uh, went the other way where it became more contagious and less deadly, would be the, uh, the, the best way for the virus to actually become more prevalent. You know, maybe this is just preliminary data so far Maybe this is the the silver bullet that was needed with a novel virus, which is called the novel coronavirus, that broke out in the world stage, uh, jumped from a bat or a pangolin to a human to dogs to chickens to whatever. It's infected deer, uh, giraffes. How uh, made that magical jump from a uh, you know one uh, one species and then just you know somebody's playing around the bat or wet market, they said, whatever. But <laughs> realistically, this is good news. So, I, you know, being the devil's advocate on this whole, this whole pandemic for the past two years, I, I, I kind of would hate to say my personal opinion and uh, be kicked for it. But, you know, if I had a, I had a beginning plan and an escape route, route out, a root out of the out of something that I had created that I could pull tons of bazillions of dollars out of financial markets, uh, future wealth of the populations of people inside America, other countries. You know, I could say, well, I'm gonna, you know, how am I gonna get this extract an exorbitant amount of wealth from from uh, you know economies? How how do I get this money now? Well, that's all I could say, because I don't want to get in trouble. But I'd have to have a parachute at the end, you know. I'd have to have a way I was going to, you know, fix all this at the end. Be like, yeah, you know, there's got to be a way to stop all my madness when, when I get what I want. So people believe, they blame governments. Oh, government this, government, okay, governments are filthy, sick, rotten, disgusting entities of corruption, greed, Everything you can imagine. They, they, they're the sickest power and wealth, you know, 
their own society that's just drunk on everything they do to the population of the world. They've been, they've, been, they've been responsible for mass death. They've been responsible for genocides. You know, governments are, are a horrible, horrible uh, entity that, that, it, that has, has just rained strife upon the population of the planet. There are other governments that have been great. You know, it's, it's nice to see when governments actually become formed by the people. That includes here in America. But there is other groups. Now, John Kennedy, John F. Kennedy uh, talked about this. So if you want to look it up, you know, it, it just kind of, there's massive entities that are, that do shady deals in the dark that affect the planet. And their their goal is is massive capital gains and wealth off of other human beings. They're kind of they're like a tick, but uh, a gigantic tick that sucks the lifeblood out of out of populations across the planet. And remember, that's how they make they, they need that money to to keep their their cells fed. They're just like a vampire. But you know, I hate to include that. But you got to remember, there is evil organizations across the world, and there is biological weapons that can be used. So, you know, you got to do the do your kind of timing. What's happened? Why? When did this all begin? What what kind of, you know, what kind of wealth has been extracted? I mean, people say, okay, well, that was just to bail out everybody and blah blah blah. No, that that, you know, there's 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 a whole group down here of ants running around. You know, then you got, you know, the queens, the kings at the top. And uh, realistically, what happens is all this that's done down here goes back to the, the queen. It, it really doesn't make a difference what, what this group down here does. Because as long as you spend whatever they, they drain out of wherever, you know, financial mechanism they can, which is usually Federal Reserve, you know, in debt, then they, they reap the benefits. It goes to them. It's nothing to do with you. Oil prices go up, it's to them. If a commodities goes up, it's to them. If they hand out money, it's back to them. If they invest in green energy, it goes back to them. You know, these they things are going to build themselves. They're, they're massive investments. It just creates capital. <clears throat> and then they trickle it back down and it just goes back up to them again. It just never changes. It's just a, it's a story that has been sung in, in government for a very, very long time, especially here in the United States, just not on this large of a scale before. If you look at what we're passing now as a trillion dollar bills and people are just fine with that. It's like, you know, went from uh, billions to trillions in two point plus years, you know, or two years, you know, we went, we went that fast. It's just the, the speed in which the, the mechanism was was developed to fight a virus that just appeared out of absolutely nowhere. Just appeared. If you guys like the show Twelve Monkeys, which it's very very tough to set through that show, you, you kind of get a perspective what what I'm talking about here without saying it. You know, I work at this place, and you know I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know uh, uh, I'm kind of angry at the world. But just take away the anger of the world thing and say, oh, I just want to make this just replace that with I want to make a lot of money, just a bazillions of bazillions of dollars. How do I do that? Well, I go to this you know lab and I, this guy in an overcoat, just like you know, hey, what's over in that vial over there? Oh, okay. Well, well some of it just uh, you know ends up in a another vial thingy, and I just kind of you know get on an airplane and be like, uh, hey, what's up, guys? You know, uh, what's in that vial? Uh, Oh, we we're gonna take a smell. Poof. That's how fast. That's how fast this could happen. So, you know, I'd like to draw you some narration and say, so we have a lab where we screw with stuff that should be messing with for the safety of, of the world. We just, uh, we're gonna give this thing gain a function because, uh, you know, this bat. This virus would be uh, you know, deadly. We're not really that deadly, but very uh, chaotic for the uh, you know mechanism that that you could develop if uh, you know this this uh, accidentally did get out in the public. 
you know, you know, could create, you know, good wealth because I'd take some money and invest in, in uh, other things that would be, you know, good to, uh, to uh, absorb a lot of that wealth for, you know, my different facet in the, in the economic, you know, chain of, of evilness. You know, so it's like, uh, you know, hey, uh, look over there. Oh, wait. Oh, it's in this, this water bottle. Yeah, it's just a, you know, it's just a water bottle. That's how fast that could happen. You know, if they're, <clears throat> these idiots are playing with the future of the world. Not just you or me or, you know, Floofy the cat. The dogs, the trees, the birds, or dogs, the birds, the fish, everything could possibly get stuff that they're screwing with. But we got to do it for the betterment of mankind, right? We do we already have the betterment of mankind just just rubbed in yet? You know that the the, the, uh, the funding of labs that do stupid stuff constantly it's just making us all feel so much better after a few years. I like when we was herded through, you know, little corrals with triple masks and things being pointed at our head, and that was just that was cool. You know, I was a lot of people got a six month or plus a year year and a half vacation. Just literally sat there, you know. But wh where did that get us? You know, we got to think about where did it get us. But, but that's my my theory on this is uh, you know, all it takes is just going to the lab, being like, hey, I'm a scientist, and uh, doctor, doctor, scientist, science. How you doing? Great. Okay. Okay. What are we working on? Oh, this is a, this is a vi virus we got out of a bat. <laughs> hey, look, we <laughs> it jumped from a bat to. To a mouse, it's got human DNA in it. Well, we we uh, we did good there, really good. Uh, well, what the oof, that ever got out? You know, we could really not that dangerous, but man, it could really cause some some havoc across the planet. There's my take. Poof, poof. There it is. Well, how do we fix it? Oh yeah, we got another. Uh, you know, we just take this and we uh, you know, throw some of this in there. Well, this is a common cold. It's a, well, it's the SARS virus, you know. We just take a little bit of this and a little bit of this in there. And see if we get it to mix mix up with these mouse you know, cells. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, well, let's we'll, we'll just breathe this. Let's get this little, you know, tray thingy over here. and Let's just grow it. Just see what it does. Oh, it's doing great. Well, let's uh, feed it a bunch of uh, these other mice that have human DNA in them. Okay, well, there we go. It's a good idea. So, well, what did we just do? We just uh, took this highly, almost deadly, not deadly, quite deadly, possibly deadly, could be deadly, and is deadly, and we made it into a a uh, half common cold. But because that's how this worked, it it did mutate. Here's the kicker: it did mutate into what the Omicron variant is. Which would be the, the 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 coronavirus that caused all these viruses? That's been variants now. There are mutations. Like tons of mutations in the variant. The variant didn't step back and say, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna mutate less deadly. I'm gonna not be as deadly. I'm gonna be a, a better you know to the host. I'm gonna let that host live and just get a little sick and then spread like wildfire. The people get a little sick, and then they spread the next people. Well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna merge." Yeah, so I'm gonna take these uh, to two, cause uh, let me get this real quick. Oh, I dropped my I dropped my uh, my props. So this is a common SARS virus cold. It's been around for a hundred years, and this is the the uh, Delta variant, which is the dominant variant. I'm gonna put these two together. We're gonna have a baby. Oh, I'm out of visual aids. Uh, yeah, and it's gonna be this, and it's a. Uh, well, and we oh pfft, oh wait, it's a dollar. Oh wait, it's actually two dollars. Wow, that's what they want you to believe. That's that's what they want you to believe. Sorry, I make this the newsroom is going to be hopefully build up bigger in the next few weeks. <sighs> you know, I, I guess I'm just not a scientist guy. You know, I have no degree, I have no, no doctorate, no epidemiologist, uh, you know, degree from some 
some, you know, expensive. I could never go to college because I have common sense. And I get anywhere because I, I had to work. You know, common sense for my age was to work. But that was that life's gone. Now it's it's gotta be you gotta you gotta have training. You got some kind of degrees to really get anywhere in life anymore. But my my idea as just a nobody here at 45 News Utah and others, other platforms I got, but uh maybe we could have just you know, just uh done all that, you know, in a little lab somewhere. And then well, let's just take a flight to the middle of nowhere. With a high population of people, with you know, it's kind of like no modern technologies, really. And just uh, hey, what's that? Oh, it's a it's a vial of stuff. Open it up. You sure? Open it up. Yeah, open it up. Oh, oh, it just doesn't smell like nothing. Oh, it's something. And poof, and just like that, you know, it uh, we got the Omicron variant. Poof. We need to stop believing in, in a lot of the stuff that's going on in this world. You have to... You're not allowed to speak out and say, Hey, you know, this is bull. This is bull. You guys are, you guys are a bunch of crooked criminals. It just... You know, your organizations that do shady things that's done in the dark. You're, you're not in the open. You guys... You know, your, your, your financial mechanisms are just draining the world of its wealth. You make... You're so evil. So, so, you got sweatshops in Indonesia, you got people doing, making stuff for people and other people screaming about the environment, why they're, you know, slave wage labor, it's just this stupidity. And those guys, these groups are in charge of it. So, you know, it was China, oh, it's this South Africa, oh, it's the Indian government. It's not really government. So they fail as far as put implementing stop gaps. They're supposed to be for us. The, the average working Joe, the Jill, that's dragging the knuckles on the ground. But it ain't that way anymore. It's about consumers. It's about their, their bottom lines, their profits. not about us at all. And it used to be they at least made it seem like it was about us, but it's corporations. Lobbyists, corporations, they own, they own everything. <sighs> so, that's my take on this. You know, you could, uh, you discuss that amongst yourselves and say, oh, it's not possible. There's no way that'll ever happen. Uh, orchestrated the largest theft in, in global history. I mean, the greatest movie script ever written could have been orchestrated. This isn't Sandy Hook sued Alex Jones for denying that it ever happened. You know, with these massive, powerful law lawyers, which is in charge of the U.S. government anyway, which destroys us and sues us for all stupid stuff and really puts screws to us because lawyers should never be in charge of anything because they're, they're as corrupt as anything that ever existed. Because they're always fighting to put people in prison that have not done nothing or trying to defend people that have raped children. Or their, you know, whatever their client gets, they get half or whatever, 40%. I mean, come on, that's like highway robbery. It's highway robbery. But, you know, let's sue you. If you say something wrong, you, you gotta, you know... Now, uh, you know, Pfizer's saying you can get the third jab protection. You know... There are three jabs, and you, you're good against any Omicron variant. You know, I, I personally, I just you know, look at the whole subject and say, well, Omicron's coming out supposedly not supposed to be deadly. Their hospital rates haven't really ticked up. They have mass infection in South Africa. It's spreading so quickly, but it's not flu season there. It's not the, the winter time there. It's now summer in South Africa. But the uh, preliminary data that's coming out is saying it's just a uh, it's not even really a head cold. It's fatigue, a headache, and that's it. It is more intense than those that are unvaccinated, of course. Uh, but their hospital rate so far ain't, isn't really ticking up. Now, if it stays at that level, let's get back on the theory of Omicron. If it stays at that level where you're not seeing the hospitalizations, it's not going to be the, the, the Delta and Alpha. It is going to take over all of Delta. It's going to take over all the previous variants. It's going to destroy them. And we're going to be dealing with a very mild, mild uh, fatigue once a year that comes around. And that's it. You know, it's a great breaks to the entire situation. It could take all that has been spent, all the death and strife, and turn into a one to two day, I don't feel good. 
very, 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 very mild compared to the real, the lungs. That's a big one. It doesn't cause a head cold, doesn't cause the lungs, the pneumonia. So far, devil's advocate, uh, we don't have enough data yet. It spreads faster than anything we've ever seen. We're talking 97% of South Africa, 95% of South Africa is now inundated with, with the uh, Omicron variant. Uh, we don't know enough. This thing spreads that fast. And if it does become dead, deadly, if it is just like Delta, we, we shall know in a few days. If that's the case, watch John Campbell's video from yesterday. Give you a better idea of the oh crap moment that would be happening right now if it is anything better, anything different than what they're they're saying out of South Africa. They're saying it's it's absolutely nothing. It is very, very mild. Now, if that is the case, if it's the other way around, we're in trouble. So anyway, thanks for watching 45 News Utah and other platforms I have. Uh, Got to really get moving, but I just want to do a quick video. I did do a video on YouTube to explain how the variant has moved or other variants moved, Delta had moved, and the novel coronavirus and the Alpha had moved across the planet. So if you want to watch that video, go to YouTube, 45 News Utah, and check it out. I have 10 views. So, that'd be great to do anyway. So, you guys have a great day. I got to head to work here in about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, get ready for snow tomorrow. Looks like snow all day, guys. Southern Utah, Northern Utah, St. George rain. It's coming tomorrow. It's going to last through Friday. It's going to be pretty good. Big storm. Big storm. Cold, cold temperatures. So, get ready. It's, it's, it's here. This is going to be supposedly three, one to three to five inches of alley, foot in the mountains. It's going to be just a fantastically horrible storm. And drop the temperature way down. So you guys have a great day. Be careful traveling tomorrow and Friday. And I'll talk to you later.